Hello, hi, how are you today? I'm Patricia from Twin Flame Ring Connection located in Chicago. The Equinox is feeling a little bit different than it did last year. Uh, for some people, it's feeling you really just want to start hibernating. So let's talk a little bit about the Equinox. Uh, here in the Northern Hemisphere, it is the fall equinox. Actually through Instagram, I saw some people who are in Australia. They're so happy it's the spring equinox, but they're having some of that crazy weather that comes this time of year. And the weather and the moon and the stars, that's all affecting everyone. I sometimes wonder why do people think that, you know, there aren't other cosmic forces that can influence things because it does. And you can feel it. Some people feel it much more acutely. And and it's affecting all of us, all of us where we are. But it also can affect your mood, your level of energy, and generally how you feel and what you need to get done. So in this video, I want to talk to you about the equinox because it is a pivot point and the dark into light. Now, usually we say the dark into light for the solstice. But I'm talking about some of those weird, dense, heavy, weird, 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 and sometimes darkish situations. We're also sort of on this cusp here where they're, we're in the shadow. We're in the shadow. We're like in Mercury shadow. But what does that actually mean? It means that you're going to have to have a lot of like really seeing things with your eyes open and start addressing it. It's not really the big elephant in the room. It is those naggy things that you just finally need to address it. And so let's talk about it. For married people, and this is a lot of people who might be in a long-term relationship or a relationship or a marriage, there's no passion, but it becomes really noticeable and you feel like you want to do something about it. You're not going to be able to nag that person into doing something to create passion. Passion is something that is soul driven. It's not something that you can cajole someone into or convince them. And it's not fakey either like you see in a soap opera or a rom-com or something. Even they have trouble really producing something that feels like passion. Most people are like, yeah, I like them. And what they're really saying is, I like what they can do for me. I like how they are. They're not really trouble. They provide okay. You know, things are okay. Why rock the boat? Except that is what comes up. There's no passion. There's no common ground. There's a lot of things that from the inside out, you know, and this is the dark into the light. People can't live like that. They're bringing that weird, dense heaviness that they've had with other people out and they want to be light. They want to lighten up. They want what's real. So that's a part of this energy and this pivot point is wanting a real life. Now, you may not know how to get there right away. And I'm going to say this, two things. Don't do anything hasty and don't do it the same old way. There is a way and you can have an escape plan. I help a lot of people with that. Another thing that's coming up in this energy, I'm going to call it like this, medical near misses. What are these medical near misses? Well, first of all, I'm going to highly recommend, please get your medical checkups in as much as you're able to have a physical or something like that. But if there is something that has been nagging at you, I should get this checked, I should get this checked, or this isn't right, or I shouldn't be feeling like this for so long. I'm a medical intuitive and I've many times steered people to what they should get checked, really narrow it down instead of winding up with a crisis when they're in the emergency room. Now that costs a lot of money. It is much less expensive to make sure that you're being a little bit proactive, concise, focused, balanced, and have it be a near miss. Many times people will get a result that it's benign or it's negative or something like that. So I've actually had four people lately where they've had something like that, that they're getting checked and it is benign. They missed they miss that real dire straits of really getting serious sick. And that's what you want. That is what your new light body is for. Because if there's been buildup in your body, your body might have something like, let's say it's a lump or a fatty tumor or something like that. But you want it to be benign. Guess what your light body does to bridge it? Guess what your light body does to start 
keeping it stable, stabilizing you, not having it interfere with the proper functions, all of that. So you may see some of this dark into the light and I'm definitely here to help you with that. That is what my four zone healing is all about, is a lot of the much deeper healing that it takes to do this. It's deeper because it is done from a multi-dimensional level. Now, another thing that's gonna come up with this Equinox, of course, we have, the schools are back in session, but we have things having to do with our children. Their routines are changing, their needs are changing. Uh, they're much more aware they're tired of all the BS out there. They are, you know, wanting to learn and learn the things that they like and look forward to their future. They've been literally living under the gun for a really long time, quite literally. And this brings concern about schools and things. I'm going to say something I say in all my webinars. It takes a village. Okay, it takes more than one person to raise a kid, but unfortunately a lot of people are in the position where they are just one person raising their kid and it's overwhelming. And, you know, yes, there's some government help. It still needs tweaking. There's still things that, you know, people are trying to do because they care. Most people don't get involved with children or schools unless they really want to teach or they want to be around children or they feel children are the people that they're here to what help teach help them learn, help them cope, et cetera, et cetera. They don't go into it, and it's the same with anything with medical. The people that really do it the best feel it because it comes from the inside out. It is bringing dark and light, that yin and yang, the masculine, feminine, into a balance for the people who do and the people who need as well. What is it about some of this energy too? Well, you can envision things all you want. And this is a lot of people that they don't lift a finger. They don't do anything. They just bump along. You have to put in the work. That means the light body work. That means the proper light body work. We've been in this long-term relationship and somehow I don't feel like we're connecting anymore. Oh, what do you mean? Well, you have your other boyfriends that you see and you have people that are, I don't know, I think you're giving them money. I mean, I worked my butt off. All I wanted was a stable home. Oh, you're too uptight. Loosen up. You know how it is. I can't be tied down. I, I just, I need to be free. Didn't you understand this about me? And I, I'm not feeling the passion. How can I be passionate with you when you're so uptight? Ah, oh. and they just don't know. They don't know where this is going. I just went and got some of my checkups and they want me to come in for a second thing. I think they want to biopsy me. Well, do things run in your family? That's what I'm afraid of. I just really don't know. And I've had all these fears. What if, what if I die? And what if the bills are too much? You're, you're letting your mind get carried away. First of all, have you done your light body work? Have you done twin flame body work? No, I, I learn it, but I'm waiting for my twin. You're being foolish. Just start because that's the whole point. Someone has to start from somewhere. Okay, look, I've been doing it for a long time and it has helped me to stave off a real major crisis here and there. I wind up getting the results, convinced that I'm gonna hear a terrible report and all I get is normal. Girl, I've never been so normal in my life as normal, normal, normal. Well, that's what I want. I, I don't want to crash and burn right before I meet that person that I'm supposed to be with. That's the whole point. You're, you're getting these things ahead of time. You're nipping them in the bud. You're staving off the crisis. You're supposed to make love and make passion and not be helping each other into the nursing home. Get it together. Get your head out of that old mindset. So... In order to help you with this, I do have some really two great things because you're going to find out that your sleep is affected and one is twin flame ascension and inner healing. Now this helps you with your love connections through inner healing and that is some of the dark into the light. In here I talk about your electrolytes, juicing, how juicing helps you on your journey. Also about intermittent fasting, proper intermittent fasting for you for your ascension. 
And there's many other things in here about ancestral and generational things. And quite frankly, learning how to fast properly can be very lightening up, very dark into the light, and it can do another thing for you. It can help you get rid of people. So learn it. That's one. The other one I have to help you is Twin Flame Ascension Sleep and Love. Now, you got to get to new sleep levels. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to do this because your light body needs you to refresh and reconnect at other levels. Some of it happens in your sleep. In fact, some of the easiest stuff happens in your sleep. Do you want to get to that lover level? Do you want to get where you can actually benefit in your sleep? Do you want to have the kind of energy that you had when you were in your 20s? even though you're older. Well, there are things about how to sleep that actually do that for you. Now, I don't want to tell you that you're immediately going to get into the alpha state, but what I will say is that there are several states of sleeping and they're very distinct and they serve a purpose and the fourth dimensional astral plane is closing. It is very rapidly closing down. So in order to get yourself there and just start, just start. It is about love. It is about how do you sleep in your new light body and how do you keep ascending? So when you hear words like downloads, level up, sleep deprivation, this is the book that you want. Okay. Thanks so much. And I hope you have a wonderful Equinox. Bye now.